Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to my grab bag. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Music Box, the number one music-related subscription box. That's what their description is. That's not my description. We'll see. Now, this box was sent to me for free. Uh, I don't have a referral link, so this is just going to be a completely legitimate, totally honest review. <coughs> that being said, I will put their website link in the description below if you guys would like to pick this up for yourself. Now, one of the things about the Music Box is when you go to their website, they actually have like three different types of boxes that you can get. The first one is an envelope for $5 a month. It looks like, based on the picture that they've provided, you get like one CD with a whole bunch of tracks. It looks like around 16 or 17 tracks. You can move up to the box for $12 and it looks like you get a bunch of little knickknacks and stuff like that. Uh, I see like a sticker, I see like a keychain, I see some artwork and things of that nature. And then you can go to $15 for $3 more and it's called the bundle and it looks like the same thing as the box, just more stuff. So I'm not sure what they sent me, but this is definitely not an envelope. So we either got the box for $12 or the bundle for $15. I would not be surprised if they sent me the bundle because it looks like all the stuff that they've shown in this bundle picture uh, would fit in this box. So before we dive into this, uh, there's a little section on their website that says, What is the music box? When you sign up for the music box, every month you will receive carefully selected music from our featured artists. A portion of the proceeds will be used to sponsor selected featured artists. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up the music box. It looks like it opens up from the bottom here, and I have not seen what's inside. Oh, ooh. <coughs> okay, looks like this month is themed after Halloween, of course. Most of the boxes that we open during this month or maybe next month, it depends on whenever I get these, are probably gonna have a little things like candy and stuff like that. Now, these look really, really, really nice. Uh, I think the webcam's gonna be doing a lot better today. Yeah, I don't, for some reason it just does really well sometimes and other times it doesn't. But there we have an artificial strawberry flavor jelly-filled marshmallow candy, and it's called Bloodberry. I don't really know, like, what what is the, what is the company? here zombie made in China there you go and we also have a blueberry one blueberry is my favorite type of artificial candy I'm trying to show you guys what it says on the top there what does that say bruise berry come on you can do better than that so we got a blueberry jelly filled whatever the hell this thing is they've also provided me with a couple of sweet tarts uh, this is the music box after all so if we listen really closely I think I can faintly hear the Ballroom Blitz. If you have shitty taste in music, you probably won't get that joke, but it's okay. There's gonna be a lot of room for jokes here and there. We'll try and find one for everybody. Okay, so we have a little card here going over some information about the band. If you guys would like to check out their Facebooks uh, and stuff like that, go ahead and do so. We have some weird little download card. Uh, it says, Rabid Young Before You Go, and there's a little link there. I have no clue what this is for. There's no code on it, so it looks like anyone can go download that for free, so. Do that if you wish. There's another one of these things. It's got a pretty interesting looking graphic here. Uh, and on the back, there is indeed a code. There we are. Why'd you break up with me? Gotham Theory, dear. And there's a code on the back to download their free copy of their debut album. Uh, I'm going to do that and check it out. And then we have a sticker for Hard to Hit which is apparently West Coast Pop Punk. Uh, I prefer West Coast Pop Punk over East Coast Punk Pop, but that's just my preference. A lot of little stickers and cards and things, first and foremost. We got one that says the music box, and there's a cat listening to some tunes and giving us the peace sign. I didn't ask for that. Would you believe there's another sticker, guys, for Parks and Landing? I think that's what that says. And look how, look at the gloss on that. You can see my webcam in all of its glory. You see that piece of shit that never wants to focus. Now on to the good stuff. We have little CD sleeves. This one is Falling Through April. Risks and Rewards. I'm not sure. Oh, no, it looks like little EPs because on the back we have a list of songs here. Breakdown, Broken Feet, The Person, You've Become, Empire in Control. Uh, and funny thing, funny thing I just realized, uh, it's a CD. There you go. I don't have a CD player in this apartment. My computer does not have a CD drive. From what I understand, there is literally nothing I can do to play this right now. Hey, would you know they have a YouTube channel and they have Broken Feet Official, which is one of the songs on here. Let's take a listen, shall we? Tear away the armor, stitch up the wound, stop the bleeding. All right, next we have the Givers and Takers. 
uh, let me have it. These little, I don't see, I don't know what's going on here. I would imagine these uh, full art EP sleeves or whatever are designed by the actual bands. Uh, I don't think they're designed by the music box, but they could be. I'm not too sure. But they're really, 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 really nice looking. Really indie looking. They've totally got the look that you would think would be in this music box. And there's the songs. Creature, The Ride, Bright Ball, Debtors, Lost My Body, Let Me Have It. And hey, let's see. What do we have inside? Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that, it opens up, and I think those are all the lyrics, right? Very, very, very hard to read. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's what I'm working with, and that's the font for every single one. Uh, looks like we got one CD in there. Let's go ahead and take it out so you guys can see the design, or more like more like CD the, the design. I told you guys there would be a joke for everybody, so that one should fit everybody and make you want to kill yourself. There we have the design. It looks like a nice, nice T-shirt that you'd find at Target. <coughs> All right, so these guys have a YouTube channel as well, but none of these songs are on there. So I'm just going to play their most recent one, Givers and Takers, Strangers, official music video. This was released April 20th, 2016. Let's take a, let's take a bit of a listen here, shall we? Not too bad. Uh, reminds me a lot of Jeff Buckley. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the last thing we have in the small box, other than all of this red confetti here, is this thingamajigger. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but this was the picture they used for the envelope. So it looks like you get this no matter what if you get the envelope, uh, and then you get all the other stuff that I got if you get the box and or the bundle. So there you go. That's what's inside of it. Uh, the music box is on the top, and then it says 16, which is the year, volume 10, which is the month, and then there's all of these little tracks and artists there. Uh, if you guys would like to pause the video and check them out yourselves, obviously it would take 10 years to check them all out on this video, but we will pick one at random and check that one out if I'm able to, if they have a YouTube presence or anything like that. Let's just take out the magic finger and go... Why am I looking at it? That defeats the whole purpose. Boom! Okay, that is going to be, it's pointing directly at number 11 on the bottom there, which is, oh, come on, you're doing such a great job, webcam, you were really focusing, you were, you were focusing, <laughs> like literally and figuratively, yeah, number 11, Dissension, Our Fold. All right, well, that song is not on YouTube. I can't find it on the inter interwebs whatsoever. It didn't look too hard, but I was able to find another song on their YouTube channel. Our Fold, She Goes On. Our Fold is the band name. Here we go. Ready? So that's going to do it for the music box, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I really, 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 really like the idea of this box. Um, they give you a lot of stickers and a little, you know, a lot of little art things and stuff like that. But, you know, the main stuff, the significance is going to be these discs. If you are someone that prides yourself on really knowing uh, underground artists, artists that aren't popular, all of these artists have had YouTube channels that have less than 500 subscribers. So they're, from what I can tell, mostly unknown. So if you're someone that really prides yourself on, like, digging, through that sort of stuff and finding uh, good artists. And these sound good. Like, I'm going to listen to these CDs more, um, especially if I can find a CD player. But the tracks on them, I'm going to try and find them and listen to the, some of them and s listen to some of them. But if you like doing that sort of thing, this is perfect for you. And also, the music box is very, very cheap. You can just get the CD with all of the songs on them, this thing right here. You can get this one if you just get the envelope for like $5. Um, and then you get the other goodies, too, if you want. So thank you, The Music Box, for sending me this box. You can send me anything else you'd like, and I'd open it on this series. Uh, I really did enjoy this box. I'm not going to have much use for all of these stickers and things like that. But uh, just the music by itself, I mean, that's already good enough of a value, in my opinion, for the price point. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of GV's Grab Bag. Stay tuned for more, and I will see you guys there. Bye-bye.